name is Pib and welcome to the project. Today I have some Titanfall beta footage here. Uh, we're playing on a map called Angel City in the game mode called Attrition. And what Attrition is, it's pretty much just like Deathmatch, Team Deathmatch, and any other FPS out there. Just for whatever reason, Respawn decided to put some fancy smancy little name on it. To be honest, I don't know why, I don't even know what Attrition means, but we're going to do a commentary over it. And it is a flawless gameplay though. And I'm not sure if it's the best gameplay out there, but I think it's a pretty pretty cool gameplay, so hopefully you guys will enjoy that. And I'm going to get into my first impressions of the game so far. Because uh, I can't talk too much about it because it's still in its beta form. But the things about the beta aren't really negative. So let's begin. Titanfall had a lot of hype. Uh, it was pretty much created by the guy that made Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 1. Arguably the best Call of Duties ever to have existed. So Titanfall had a lot of hype to live up to, and so far after my 5 or 6 hours on the beta, I think it lives up to it pretty well. If the full game is anything like the beta, I think the game will perform spectacularly. Uh, I feel like the game has a nice new touch to it that makes it makes re helps revitalize the kind of dried up FPS genre. Because let's face it, FPS is starting to get kind of old, they're getting really repetitive, um, they're kind of becoming more like each other every single time, and I think Titanfall kind of puts in some really, really nice things. It kind of reminds me of uh, Brink a little bit with its parkour nature, but it pulls off what Brink couldn't, and that is to create a actually you know, a fun multiplayer game. So now I'm going to dive into some of my favorite things about Titanfall, and what actually makes it, you know... A next, the next big FPS, like what does Titanfall do to change the FPS genre? So first of all, obviously it's a Titan. Uh, we've had games with vehicles before, we've had, you know, Battlefield has tanks and stuff, but nothing's really done what Titanfall has done with the Titan. Pretty much what a Titan is, it's pretty much, you're really just a soldier and a robot, so al although you're in some 30 foot tall robot thing, you still pretty much move around like a soldier. The controls don't feel clunky, it feels really fluid, and it kind of just makes yourself feel, feel like an oversized soldier. And um, with the the fact that every single person has the opportunity to actually get a Titan at some point in the game, you know, it just kind of uh, takes away the whole like, oh man, this guy just feel cohort because he hogged the chopper the entire match, you know. The fact that every single person has an opportunity to get a Titan, and well, ev every person will get get a Titan at some point. It just kind of makes it, uh, you know, the whole vehicle thing balanced. And let's be honest, these things are just, are not vehicles. These things are just a whole other level of, you can't even describe what a Titan is. It's just, once you actually get into a Titan man for the first time, it's just kind of, you can't really describe how, you can't really describe that feeling. The second part about uh, Titanfall that I really like is the movement of the soldier. Um, I feel like, you know, the ability to run on walls and double jump in midair, it kind of makes a new little skill gap. It makes it just... Th you know, you haven't really seen any shooters that have actually done this before. I mean, we've obviously obviously had, like, Brink and Mirror's Edge, which, ha with ha which have had the uh, parkour kind of nature to it, but y you don't really see uh, an FPS game successfully pulling off this kind of aerodynamic kind of movement of soldiers, it's just kind of unique in its own little way. Uh, you know, Halo has the super large jump, you know, Call of Duty has the drop shot and the jump shot. Gears of War has the wall bounce. And Titanfall just has, you know, its own little category. You know, it just kind of... Titanfall just kind of recreates, and it just kind of puts itself in a separate category. It's not like it's not like Halo, it's not like Call of Duty, it's not like Gears of War, it's not like Battlefield, it's like Titanfall. Titanfall just kind of creates its own little category again. And which is I, why I think it has the potential to be, you know, the ne uh, next big shooter. Up, it'll be up there with Halo, it'll be up there with Call of Duty, it'll be up there with Gears of War. And I think if, you know, Respawn continues down this path, I think they'll have a great potential to be up there. That's just how pleased I am with Titanfall, and how much I am enjoying it so far. So, those are kind of my first thoughts about Titanfall. And I'm going to kind of uh, start to wrap up this commentary. I don't want to talk too much for you guys. I want you guys to enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I'm going to turn up the game sound so you can just kind of get a feel of what the atmosphere of Titanfall really is like. Hopefully you enjoyed this commentary. I have a lot of faith in Titanfall. I'm really excited to see what Respawn will do for us on March 11th. And hopefully you guys will look forward to more Titanfall gameplay. I have a lot more stuff planned. Uh, look forward to seeing more beta footage tomorrow. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay. And as always, guys, my name is Spib. And thanks for being a part of the project.
replacement Titan will be ready in two minutes. Forces in your sector. 